all data scientists are data analysts, but not all data analysts are data scientists. By the time you finish watching this video, this quote should easily resonate with you because today we're going to be comparing and contrasting the data analyst role to the data scientist role. Now, fortunate enough for me, I've had both of these roles. I started off as a data analyst at a tax software company, and now I work as a data scientist at a fintech. And look, these two jobs have a ton of overlap between the skills that you specifically need. But what I will say is data analytics tends to be a starting point and then you transition into data scientists. A data analyst highly focuses on insights, whereas a data scientist is more worried about predictions. So with this out of the way, let's take a look at some of the skills that both jobs share. So the first skill that both jobs are gonna require is SQL. And what I would say is whether you're an analyst or a scientist, you should be very comfortable with pulling data from your company's database. And you know, the tasks that you use the data for may be a little bit different, but you should bear that responsibility. And sometimes it's nice, right? All you have to do is select, grab a few columns from table and your job is done. Other times, unfortunately, you're gonna have to have subqueries or CTEs. You're gonna have to go out there and build out ranks. It, it can become a nightmare at times and you see your SQL query being hundreds of lines. So there's a wide range of difficulty. Uh, depending on the tables that are out there and the data that is requested from you. But at the end of the day, you should be able to pull data from your database. Up next is cleaning data. This is something I did as a data analyst and it's something I do today as a data scientist. Now the tools may be a little bit different. When I was an analyst, I cleaned up a lot of data after it was grabbed in Excel. Today, I clean a lot of data within Python. But regardless, you should have at least the basics down of cleaning data. And each situation is going to be a little bit different when you want to specifically clean data. Today, I have to clean data before building out additional models in DBT, as well as after I pull data from the database. But tasks can vary quite a bit company to company. All right, dashboards and reporting. While this is primarily a job that focuses with a data analyst, as a data scientist, you should still have that skill set because there is always going to be some sort of data request. And if an analyst is backlogged, you may have to pick up that additional work. Now today I focus on building out dashboards in mode or looker, but a lot of other companies out there will use a tool like a power BI or a tablet. Okay. And now Excel. So what I will say is as you get become more proficient as a data scientist, you become less reliant on Excel. You can find different ways to automate spreadsheets and perform calculations as needed. But as a data analyst, right? I would have to clean up spreadsheets and still send them out to other stakeholders out there. And often if I wanted a quick visualization, I would just use Excel. All right. So now I'm going to jump into some tasks that are kind of entry level for a data analyst. Um, but you do upskill it when you get into data science. And that first is going to be math and statistics. Look, as an analyst, you're going to be okay with some basic algebra, knowing your mean, median, mode, and some basic trend analysis. Additionally, on the programming side of things, while some more advanced data analytics jobs do require Python, it's not required at most data analyst jobs. You mostly are gonna rely on Excel and SQL. And then again, you're gonna to have to learn how to visualize data and you can visualize it in Excel or you can visualize it in some sort of BI tool that your company uses. Now let's jump into the data science side of things. There's quite a bit here. Uh, first starting off with like statistics and math, right? You should know hypothesis testing, you should know probability theory, regression analysis, as well as linear algebra. There's other math skills I would put in here, um, but that kind of tends towards more of a like a machine learning engineer. On the Python side of things, you should be focusing on libraries like pandas, numpy, scikit-learn, scipy, matplotlib, and seaborn. Again, that wasn't fully required for a data analyst. Maybe as you get to a senior data analyst, you might know a little bit of this Python side of things. But as a data scientist, this is just like bare bones minimum requirements today. On top of that, with machine learning, you should know how to build out models. You should know how to evaluate models and then optimize them. A new skill set that is kind of falling towards the data scientist role is working with large language models. And then also you should know at least the very basics of deep learning like neural networks. So with these skills, right, the data scientist is going to pay significantly more. And you're talking anywhere from 30 to 50,000, if not higher. But there's some drawbacks, right? 
So data scientists, you're going to have to focus a lot more on studying. You saw the skills that were required for a data analyst. There's quite a bit more for the data scientist. On top of that, you're going to have to keep on improving your skills. A lot of the new developments coming out of AI, well, that's getting pushed to data scientists today. So you have to keep up to date and you're going to constantly learn on that side of things. On top of it, it is much tougher to get land a data scientist role. The interviews are much more rigorous. You're going to have interview questions, not only on some model building, but you're going to have questions on statistics. You're going to have questions on SQL as well as Python. Whereas when I went for data analytics interviews, literally it was like SQL and then some just basic plotting, like what would you do in certain situations? So a lot tougher to land that data scientist role. And the field of people applying to the data scientist role, there tends to be a lot more people applying because of that salary. And you're going to have more qualified individuals. To close out this video, remember, you can always upskill and move from a data analytics role into data science. Start by learning Python, start learning a little bit more advanced statistics, jump into machine learning and have fun along the way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out some of the others on the channel, at least from the technical perspective. If you want to learn statistics or machine learning, we have full playlists on that. And we're constantly developing other coding videos here on the channel. I'll catch you guys soon.